All right, everyone, get ready. Because today we're diving headfirst into the world of AI agents. And let me tell you, things are heating up. No kidding. It seems like every time I refresh my news feed, there's another groundbreaking announcement. Well, Microsoft really shook things up at their AI tour event in London, that's for sure. Oh yeah, that was big news. They basically said, hey, businesses, you want your own AI agents, now you can build them. Hold on, seriously. Like, I can just build an AI. That's the idea. Microsoft's trying to make it as simple as possible. So no more needing a team of tech geniuses in a mountain of code. Well, maybe not quite that simple, but they are definitely lowering the barrier to entry. I can imagine. They've got this new platform called Copilot Studio, and they're pitching it as a way to build AI agents, you know, piece by piece. Interesting. Like, Imagine needing an AI agent to handle customer service inquiries. Okay, I'm picturing it. You could theoretically use Copilot Studio to build one step by step. Wow, that's wild. But you know, Microsoft, they always have competition. Oh, absolutely. And Salesforce isn't just sitting on the sidelines watching this play out. They haven't been exactly quiet about it, have they? Not at all. In fact, they just launched their own AI agent platform called Agent Force. I was wondering when someone was going to mention that. It's like a direct response to Microsoft's move. Things are getting interesting in the world of business tech. To say the least, this could be a real game changer. So let's break it down, shall we? What can these AI agents actually do? Well, imagine this. Your sales team is spending hours every day qualifying leads, right? It's the name of the game. Now imagine having an army of AI agents doing that for them, pre-qualifying prospects. Okay, now that would be a game changer. Great. And that's just one example. AI agents could be handling customer service inquiries. Taking care of those repetitive questions, freeing up human reps to handle the complex stuff. Exactly. This isn't about replacing people. It's about making their jobs more efficient, more human. You got it. It's about letting people focus on what people are good at. That makes sense. But how is this actually playing out in the real world? Any companies seeing real results? Get this. Lumen Technologies. They're projecting something like $50 million in annual savings just by using Microsoft's Copilot. $50 million? That's not chunk change. Not even close. It's like adding a whole bunch of new employees without the overhead. Okay, now you've got my attention. Huh. Are there other companies seeing similar success? Oh, yeah. Honeywell's claiming some big productivity wins, and there's this financial software company, Finastra. I've heard of them. Well, they say AI is slashing their creative production time, taking it from months down to weeks. Okay, now that's impressive. It really does seem like we're on the cusp of something big. It sounds like it. Like a wave that's about to break. A wave of AI agents transforming everything in their path. And we have a front row seat to the whole thing. This is going to be interesting to watch unfold. You can say that again? So it's not just businesses jumping on this AI agent bandwagon, right? What about governments? Oh, they're definitely paying attention, especially after this whole Microsoft announcement. Really? What's the connection there? Well, it turns out Microsoft also inked a pretty significant deal with the UK government. No way. Tell me more. Yeah, it's a five-year partnership where Microsoft will be providing its AI tools, including this co-pilot tech, to public sector organizations throughout the UK. Wow, that's huge. <laughs> We're talking healthcare, education, social services. The potential impact is massive. Absolutely. It seems like governments are realizing the potential of AI to streamline operations and maybe even save some money in the process. That makes sense, especially these days. But I imagine there are also concerns about putting AI in the hands of governments, right? Oh, there are definitely ethical considerations to think about. This UK deal is definitely one to keep an eye on. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. It could set a precedent for other countries looking to leverage AI. Definitely. It's like we're watching a new era of technology unfold right before our eyes. Speaking of big players, we can't forget about Wall Street. How are investors reacting to this whole AI agent explosion? Well, let's just say they're not ignoring it. Both Microsoft and Salesforce have seen their stock prices climb recently. So investors are betting big on AI agents being the next big thing, huh? It seems that way. Of course, the market can be unpredictable, but this level of excitement is definitely noteworthy. It's like we went from the dawn of the internet to the rise of smartphones, and now we're on the verge of an AI agent revolution. And we're just getting started. What's really fascinating is that this isn't just about some cool new gadgets. Right. This is about reshaping industries, changing how we work, maybe even redefining what success looks like in the future. Exactly. It's a fundamental shift. Okay. My mind is officially blown. This deep dive has been full of eye-opening moments. Glad to hear it.
But with all this talk about the future, it makes you wonder, what does it all mean for the average person? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And there's no easy answer. Right. But one thing's for sure. It feels like we're on the edge of something massive, something that could change everything. It's bigger than just one thing changing though, right? You're right. It's not just about AI doing this or that specific task. It's about what happens when AI starts taking on roles we thought were exclusively for humans. Exactly. Which leads to the big question. What does this mean for all of us? For the future of work? That's what I keep coming back to. If AI can handle the repetitive stuff, the mundane tasks, where does that leave people? It's almost like we need to rethink what it means to have a job, what skills are truly valuable. Exactly. We might be moving into a world where adaptability is the name of the game. Being able to learn new things constantly, pivot when needed, and not be afraid of change. Exactly. And creativity. That's going to be more important than ever. Because AI can crunch numbers and process data, but it can't replicate genuine human ingenuity, right? Exactly. It's those uniquely human qualities. Empathy, problem solving, critical thinking. Those are going to be the things that set us apart. So it's not just about being a tech whiz. It's about being human being able to con connect with others, think outside the box, adapt to whatever comes our way. Now you're getting it. This isn't the end of work, it's an evolution. And like any evolution, it comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. And maybe a whole lot of surprises along the way. No doubt about it. Well, I think we've given our listeners a lot to think about today. It's a lot to process. That's for sure. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up this incredible deep dive into the world of AI agents. It's clear this is just the beginning of the story, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Me neither. It's an exciting time to be paying attention. To all our listeners, thank you for joining us on this journey. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and we'll be back next time with another exciting deep dive.